Carhartt. 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 This is day 114 of 120. Uh, we're going to talk about pants today. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and buy Carhartt pants because for some people they can be pricey, some people they're not pricey, some people they're just average pair of pants. Um, but I personally love Carhartt pants. Now, I've been wearing Carhartt pants back, you know, you, you can wear, wear blah, 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 blah. You used to be able to buy Carhartts, um, like the old, the dungaree style, real thick canvas jean and I could go to like the country store or whatever and I could either buy pre-washed or the like starched kind. I don't even know if they still do that. The starch kind where literally you would open up this pair of Carhartts and these were like crispy, fresh, starched Carhartt dungarees. Uh, and those old school ones, for you guys that do know those, um, those are solid. The black pair that I showed you, those are still those are the old style dungarees. I've had those for like seven years. Um, I only started wearing them for work, I say, in the past three years. And they're still solid. Uh, the only thing, and if you guys know Carhartts, you'll know that down at like the ankles, because it's such a rugged jean canvas, that when your ankles walk, you know, when you walk back and forth, the canvas smacks itself, each ankle, you know, will hit itself and the, the inside right here will end up wearing out in those old school dungarees. Now, the blue and the tan pair are Carhartt's new Rugged Flex, and I believe Dickies also does Rugged Flex. Dickies also comes in typically like 20 to $30 cheaper than Carhartts but honestly you know I've I've tried I've tried to be frugal and buy the Dickies but Dickies do not fit my crotch okay there's something with Dickies where the inseam is just so uptight that it just does not work out for me um, but yet the rest of the pants fit my leg Carhartts the old dungaree style they fit my upper good you know, from the knees up, they fit me correctly, but from the knees down, they were, I guess they'd be like straight leg in a sense, but they were baggy. I got big thighs. Um, but I bring this up, I bring this pant topic up because, let's see here. Yeah, you see that right there? Yeah. Oh, I mean, also, look at that. I already had to I stitch that up. I had to stitch that up. Now, I'll tell you, this was an accident. This got caught in something sharp. This right here, these aren't jeans. These are more like the cloth, the spandexy cloth, new aged, you know, hipster pants. But the one on the pocket here is because that's where my phone is. And the corner of my phone up against things just rubs up, the, up against things. And that's how that ended up ripping. The crotch, that's, you know, I've been wearing these pants th three days out of the week for over a year straight now. And now the crotch is starting to wear out. Um, and, you know, it'll happen with, I think, all pants. But... Dickies, I don't care. I haven't tried Dickies new rugged flex, but all Dickies pants, whether it's the like Docker, they're not Dockers, the you know the what is it, like dress wear, work wear, cloth pants. None of those fit my upper areas correctly, and I always blow the crotch out. Um, Levi's 501s are good, but Levi's to me, they unless you really wear them in, they're too tight for me as well in the crotch area to be working in every single day, to be, you know, moving back and forth and stretching around. 
regular jeans are a night you know they're a tight jean uh the old you know the the older style carhartt dungarees to me those had enough enough room in them and they were strong enough that i could still step around but they're not gonna rip and they're not too tight they're baggy enough but not baggy enough that it's like unnecessarily baggy i don't know if that makes sense but uh the real point of this is you notice i had the blue the black pair work pair tan pair was a work pair the blue pair is the one nice pair of jeans that i brought out that is the pair of jeans that i will be flying home in now the pair i'm wearing right now the black and tan pair are three pairs of work pants I have the black and tan, which are jean. The tan is jean spandex, but the black pair is straight old school Carhartt dungaree canvas jean. Um, the real thick, rugged stuff. The tan one is rugged flex. I'm loving the new rugged flex. It fits my whole leg the way it should. And it also, you know, you could stretch around and party in those things while at work compared to the old school dungarees which are they're just baggier like you still stretch around but they're baggier the rugged flex is not that way but i got two pairs of jeans and then i have this pair this like cotton style pant now i've been here with other ab's and os's that have come here and they've literally only brought maybe like two pairs of work pants i hadn't I remember being here with an AB, he brought two pairs of pants, and that's it. He had one pair of pants that was like his nice going out pair, and then his other pair was his work pair. Now this is a, a seasoned sailor that has been around the industry for years, yet he was thinking he was going to come here and it was going to be a ship that he just stood his watch, and he didn't have to work, you know work hard I guess or do deck maintenance every single day and so he ended up ha blowing both pairs that he brought he blew the crotch out in both of them in the first month he was here now we were in South Korea and he was about 6'2 big guy you can't find 6'2 American big boy sized pants in this country they're just hard to find. He ended up having to buy like a pair of like joggers, but they're like also, cause he's 6'3", they're like high water joggers. Um, and he had to buy two or three pairs of those for work. <coughs> and that that's just what happens when you come unprepared. Um, personally, this is today's tip. Bring at least one pair of nice pants. I mean, there's people here that bring three or four pairs of nice pants and three or four pairs of work pants. I'm not carrying all that extra weight. Minimum, I believe you need one nice pair of pants. Whether, you know, whatever it is, if they're nice khakis or if they're nice jeans, you just need one nice pair of pants that you do not plan on working in. Mine are the blue Carhartts, which are nice comfortable but also a backup basically a backup pair of Carhartts that if by any chance all three of my other pants blow out I still have a good pair of jeans to wear so one nice pair of pants um, two jean canvas dungaree style a pair of work pants two of those and then one pair of cloth khaki you know, not necessarily thin dress pants, but, you know, cloth style hipster pants. And I say two jean, two work jeans and one hipster cloth pants because you might have a really hot day, okay? And I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes, you know, you might get a little sweaty. Sometimes you might want a thinner pair of pants to work in. On those really hot days now I still I will still wear my Carhartt dungarees on a hundred degree day but some days 
you know, things get a little um, worked in per se, you know, my big boys know what I'm talking about, and you want a little more breathing room. So, four pairs of pants, guys. One nice pair, doesn't matter, dungaree or dress pants, whatever. Just one nice pair you don't plan on wearing. Two pairs of jean or dungaree style that will last at least four months. And then one pair of cloth for those really hot days. Four pairs of pants minimum. Don't come with two. Don't come with three. Definitely don't come with one pair of pants. That That's kind of out of the question. Um, but that's what I got. Uh, you don't, it doesn't have to be Carhartts. You know, your preference is your preference. But for work pants, two jeans, one cloth, at least go with that. Trust me, you're going to thank me. I'll see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Hit that subscribe button, hit the comment button, hit the like button, and I'll see you tomorrow.